Hello, it's Liz here and today I have another little haul video to share. Um, I love watching people's hauls. I think I said that in my last haul video. So here I am to show you a few bits and bobs that arrived in the crafty room um, this week or so. Um, first of all, uh, I want to show you these um, because everything else came from Amazon and these came from a, a little Etsy shop called the Jelly Bean Studio. I think I've mentioned them before. I get a few um, vintage pieces. I've had um, book pages and whatnot. And this was a little bundle of vintage um, playing cards. There's some are uh, just um, from like games. That's a, like a quiz game. And some just plain backs, animals. There's an old Jack in the Box, teddy bears, um, and that's from Rummy, and some of them are snap cards um, with crazy one gun Pete and Chief Shifty, Shifty Sam. <laughs> and these are shop. This is, I don't know what that is, but I think it's a snap game because there's some doublers. Um, so yeah, they'll be great for vintage journaling and um, and the collages that I do and whatnot. So a nice little bundle of them from the Jelly Bean Studio. Right, so everything else is from Amazon. Um, I got this stamp. This mushroom toadstool stamp, um, which is quite quite neat. Love mushrooms and toadstools. Um, there's like the butterflies as well. Everyone has mushrooms and toadstools in their stash. Um, this one, and I love these little these cool boxes as well. Um, wooden stamp. These little cool boxes. And again, a couple of um, mushroom stamps, toadstool stamps. And this is actually stamp, although initially, because I bought another set, although initially you think, oh, they're not very deep and they're not going to stamp well. The ones I bought before in a set are exactly the, uh, the same style as these and they stamp great. So that's fine. And then this long label um yep so i think that will come in quite handy and um i'll I'd usually display my wooden stamps on the shelf um just to the side of me here um so i'll probably take them out this these pack boxes but i'm just looking and i think i'll probably use that box is quite a nice little box take that apart and Maybe use these little things. Yep. Probably do that at some point. Great ones for reusing the packaging that way. Yep. So there's that and that. And again, the mushrooms. These are stickers. Um, yep. Again, China. But, uh, yeah, you just take them out and they're just plain. And, and, uh, and if you wanted, you could fussy cut round them rather than use them as one big sticker. That would be nice fussy cut. So, there's that. Champignon. Yep. And let's see. I have this book. Decoupage Scrapbooking collectible pink tones paper craft ephemera to cut and collage um, so I know there's different ones of this there's different colourways um, I think there's a red one and a blue one and a beige coloured one but I quite like the look of the pink and what I like about it so is it's not shiny it's flat um, so that's good you get Flowers, ladies, backgrounds, birds, butterflies, stamps, and ephemera, 
cute classic scraps and tags and journal cards. It's not hugely thick, but it wasn't hugely expensive either. Um, so what I liked when I opened it up and looked at it, it's thank you for the purchase of this book. The bulk of the sales are used to help an fund animal welfare organisations. So you are helping to be the solution to a better, kinder world when you buy from these resources. So that's nice to think that some of the money has gone to help others. So there's bigger things to cut out. And look at that, there's Scotland. That's unusual to see a map that's only got Scotland on it. So Ireland and there's Scotland. Oh, I'll have to put that pride of place somewhere. Because usually it's, um, we're all one and we're joined on with England and you get all the countries in the map. But, um, but yeah, although it must be an old one because they've put the Shetland Islands in a box and the Shetland always complain about being put in a box because then people that don't know think they are actually there where in actual fact if this map was to scale they would be up here somewhere <laughs> because it doesn't fit in the map they always put them in a box anyway yeah so fairies rabbits lots of florals and birds and there's some journaling cards over here and um, the Images aren't as strange as in the, you know, the sticker book and the, the big sticker book that people buy, um, the antiquarian one and then the other collage uh, book that looks like a greyhound and that's like a, a lecture or something. Um, but, you know, there's, there's plenty. There's butterflies and some nice... Uh, some nice unusual ones, birds, more flowers, some nice ladies, quite a vintage look, some tickets, oh, look at him, <laughs> he's a wee cupid and he's winking, some cats, there's another map, where is that, oh Sweden, Sweden, Holland and Denmark, so, oh, it seems to be quite a European book. And some nice uh, plates, some flower journaling cards, some ones to cut out. And there we are. So it's not hugely thick and, and each has got a backing of a, a pattern if you didn't like the images. So yeah, quite pleased with that. And this, these two Stamperia pads, absolutely gorgeous. If you're not familiar with Stamperia, it's always beautiful papers. They're always nice and nice and thick. And so in this pad, which is um, the Romantic Collection Journal, and there are words, and then a little note there. And some nice patterns with some, some wild. A smile costs nothing but gives much true. And there's some nice, you have, you have bewitched me body and soul. And I love, 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 love you. <laughs> so it's all quite romantic and um, quite a lot of nice script and nice soft florals. Beautiful. Yep, and there's little frames to cut out here frames and then little squares to cut out and some nice ephemera at the back to cut out. Yes, very nice. And then this is the Romantic Collection threads. So I hope you can get you to see these this is a 12 by 12 that's an 8 by 8 one so you can see the difference but there's lots of tags there and buttons to to cut around and then there's this page which is a pattern page with scissors and florals on it the back of that one is just a nice plainish 
BG creamy colour and this of course these could be fussy cut you don't need to use it as one sheet and then over there there's that and here love is the thread that binds us that would be lovely in a frame wouldn't it put that on a canvas or a frame and on the back of that is that looks like lilies and a, a forum a dressmaker's dummy forum and then measurements some rulers some tapes thread bobbins and then over here is a nice mix of buttons and florals and some more dress forums and then i like this page i like him um, old advertisements portable kin kilns and floss and school of art needlework a yard of poppies free to all <laughs> And then these square cards here. Nice. And that's got a nice pattern on the back, that one. And then the sold sewing machine. My sewing machine is quite old. Not quite as old as looking as that one, but it's a very old one. I said to hubby last night, I think I might need a new sewing machine. Nice lightweight one. But I don't really sew. I only sew some sometimes around the edge of a bit of paper or a journal so I can't really and it works fine for that so there we are we have that 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 my shrooms and my stamps there we are and this of course the Amazon packaging. Keep all of that because that will be a journal cover one day in the future. Amazon packaging is great to use. Okay, thanks for joining me today and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.